Hello everyone. This is our third session and we're going to start off uh, today with Love Lifted Me. This song was written by James Rowe in 1912. The text was inspired by the two Bible stories in Matthew. The first one where Jesus walks on water and commands Peter to join him. And then the second where Jesus is asleep in the boat during the storm and the apostles wake him up and he commands the storm to cease. Uh, Rose Him incorporates both of these stories. So, love lifted me. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no Heard my despairing cry from the waters lifted me to save them. song is Softly and Tenderly, Jesus is Calling. Uh, this song was written and composed by Will Thompson in 1880. He wrote numerous hymns, but this one is the most well-known. It invites us to come and accept God's mercy, <clears throat> softly and tenderly. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. See on the portals, he's waiting and watching, watching for you.
has mercy and pardon, pardon for you and for me. Our next song is Higher Ground, and it starts off, I'm pressing on the upward way, new heights I'm gaining every day. Uh, this song was written in 1898 by Johnson Oatman, and the music was composed by Charles Gabriel. It's a fine song of aspiration. It speaks of a desire not to become mired in average humdrum Christian life, but to be a dynamic Christian living in joy and in victory, higher ground. I'm pressing on the upward way, new heights I'm gaining every day, still praying as I'm onward bound, Lord grant my feet. Solid Rock was written by Edward uh, Mote around 1834 in England. He said, One morning it came into my mind to write a hymn on the gracious experience of a Christian. He quickly came up with the chorus and then wrote six verses, although it was later edited to four and music was composed by William Bradbury in 1863. The Solid Rock. Other ground is 
His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Um, the words of this song were written in 1905 by Sevilla Martin. Uh, the story is that she and her husband were visiting another couple, the Doolittles. Um, the wife had been ridden for around, had been bedridden for around 20 years, and the husband was crippled, and he got around in a wheelchair. In spite of their condition, they were happy and brought inspiration and comfort to all who knew them. Savella asked them the secret of their happiness, and Mrs. Doolittle replied, His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. This inspired Savella to write the words to this hymn. After writing the words, she sent them to Charles Gabriel, who wrote the music. His eye is on the sparrow. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows call? Why should my heart be lonely and long from heaven at home? When God is ever my portion, my constant friend will be. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. His eye is on and I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Let not your heart be troubled. Christ in the word I hear, and resting on God's goodness. I lose my doubts and fears, though by the path God leads me, my one step I may see, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me, I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Whenever I am tempted, whenever clouds arise, when song gives way to sighing, when hope within me dies, I then draw close to my Savior. For care I am set free, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy, I sing because I'm free, his eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. Our next song we're going to do is You Are the Healing. This song is a contemporary hymn that was written by Scott Soper. He's written numerous songs for the church, and this one has a gospel beat. You Are the Healing. Thank you. 
Our next song is America the Beautiful. The words of this song were written by Catherine Lee Bates in 1893. She had taken a train trip to Colorado, and several of the sights on her trip inspired her and found the way, the way into her poem, including the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago, the wheat fields of Kansas, Kansas, and the majestic view of the Great Plains from high atop Pikes Peak. The poem was later adapted to music written by Samuel A. Ward, America the Beautiful. song is Come Christians Join to Sing. Uh, this hymn was written by Christian Henry Bateman. It's a rewrite of an earlier hymn by William Hickson. Bateman's hymn first appeared in a collection of melodies for children in 1843. The melody comes, nobody is a traditional melody, so it has an anonymous author or composer. So Come Christians Join to Sing. Yeah. 
Wayfaring Stranger. This song is a well-known American folk and gospel song which likely originated in the early 1800s, undoubtedly on the plantations in the South. It has been performed by numerous musicians such as Johnny Cash, Glenn Campbell, <coughs> Joan Baez, and many, many others. Wayfaring Stranger. I am a poor wayfaring stranger of traveling through this world of woe. Yet there's no sickness, toil, or danger in that bright land to which I go. I'm going there to see my father. I'm going I'm just a going over Jordan. I'm just a going over home. I know dark clouds will gather round me. I know my way is rough and steep, but golden fields lie out before me. Where God's redeemed. Shall ever sleep. I'm going there to see my mother. She said she'd meet me when I come. I'm just a going over Jordan. I'm just a going over home. I feel my sins are all forgiven. My hopes are placed on things above. I'm going on to yon bright heaven, where all is joy and peace and love. I'm going there to see my children. I know they're near my father's throne. I'm just a Just a going over home. And we all we always sing this what a day that will be after that that wayfaring stranger that this seems to go seems to blend with the the song. Mm -hmm. And what a day that will be was written by Jim Hill in the early nineteen fifties. The story goes that his mother in law was very ill. And he was a new Christian at the time. And while he was driving home from work, he asked God, why was this happening to her? He said that the words of the song then just came flooding into his head. When he got home, he grabbed a piece of cardboard and started writing the words down. The first person that he sang the song to was his mother-in-law. What a day that will be. There'll 
be no sorrow there, no more burdens to bear, no more sickness, no pain, no more parting over there, and forever I will be with the one who died for me, what a day, glorious day that will be, what a day. And that will be a glorious day, and it was a glorious day. <laughs> Seeing your smiling faces. Yeah, we sure miss coming out and singing with you. Um, hopefully, we'll be back soon. So, you guys take care and stay well. And we love you. Take bye.